Aloha and welcome to Betty's Real Estate Corner brought to you by Sakamoto Properties where prestige is our business, reputation our foundation. Here we are again at KAOI and we have in the studio Chris Meyer from Meyer Computer who's been working with us to get this up on our website um, you know, so it can be found all over the internet which has been really great. Rory Sakamoto is here with us today but kind of sitting back just kind of throwing out a few little hints from time to time should we forget something but today is Mitch Mitchell's day here in the studio and we've got a lot of different ideas for you welcome Mitch Aloha Betty and thanks for having me back on your program good to have you here Mitch I think we've got a good day going on there's so many different ideas that we had driving over talking back and forth and trying to get organized for this but one of the things that I'd like us to tell a little bit about between the two of us is the Night of the Shooting Stars, which was in Lahaina at the Civic Center. And it's a great event that's put on, you know, actually, the, pe the only people that I want to say a thank you to Maui. on that is a basketball Maui. But I like to say Dan and Joanne Williams, which are both of them huge community supportive people. They do a lot with basketball all over the islands. But this was really an amazing thing where they had a basketball camp at Kamehameha Schools and at the Civic Center for a week. Tons of kids were able to do this, and it's a total camp with NBA professionals. Now, Mitch, you were at the big party event. How did that go? Well, I was uh, invited to the game. Um, fortunate for me, you had something else you had to do, so I got to go with Roy and sit courtside. It was... Um, Pretty amazing to uh, sit courtside. I kind of felt like Jack Nicholson or something there at the LA Laker games and watching all the NBA players. And uh, the kids were phenomenal. It was really, really heartwarming. These, there were some little ones that couldn't have been more than two and a half feet tall. And they were shooting baskets and making them. I mean, I'm probably twice that size and I can't yeah. make them. It was great seeing the kids run around. Yeah, I heard something that some of these kids would get out. The NBA players were fantastic with them, really made it great fun. But in one case, the Williams boy came up and actually said he got ready to hit one of the, or shoot his basket. One of the players tossed him the ball, and boom, from halfway across the court, this nine-year-old kid hits the basket straight in. Well, really, really sounds like it was a lot of fun. And the guys, the pros, really saw to it that the kids had a ton of fun. So I think, again, next year, everybody, should, everyone that's asked or can think about it, uh, call our office and we'll direct you to who to, to contact if you want to give some dollars or something that will support this because the event for children is great. It's not just about fitness. It's really about sportsmanship and everything that we want our kids to be. So way worth doing it. But call us. Call Sakamoto Properties, 808-669-0070. Check out our website, sakamotoproperties.com. You can now find us on Facebook or on Twitter using Maui Sakamoto and connect with us using hashtag Betty Maui Radio. That's Betty Maui Radio. And then again, Facebook, Twitter at Maui Sakamoto. So get in touch with us. And when you want to support something that you've heard us talk about, let us direct you how to do it. There's so many things that we can all do as a community to help one another. So let's do it. Let's all get on board and take care of take care of our kids, especially. You know, Betty, um, a lot of people are asked to give and so forth, and a lot can't. But you know, even buying a ticket to go into the event just uh, really helps further it. It was amazing the crowd that was there and how much they got into. You know, supporting the community and the youth and the basketball, it was really a great, great evening. Well, I hope we get to, we'll, we'll definitely be doing it next year. The last couple of years, we've been supporting it. We've been a sponsor, Sakamoto Properties has been a sponsor of the event. And after this year, Roy says we've got to keep doing it because really what it does for our kids, our community, is something that we have to continue to support. We've been a great supporter of Hale Makua over the years, and we've all been totally attached in Lahaina Luna High School. But having gone to this, Roy says, it is something that we really want to continue to give back to our community and help out with us. 
and to say thanks again to Dan and Joanne Williams for what they do 12 months a year to help our kids. They really take care of the children of the community. A couple little real estate things, Mitch. Okay. I'm thinking you were mentioning to me 107 Pulelehua, Phase 2 at Pineapple Hill, which has you know, fabulous view, big house, some really interesting areas. So give us some details on that. Well, it's pretty techy as far as uh, the owner who lives back east can watch it on the cameras and, and so forth. It has a great media room with a huge screen. And uh, it's also, you know, it's three bedrooms, four baths, but uh, he had the plumbing put into the, into the foundation so that if they wanted to add another bath, and make another full um, suite there that it can easily be done. So it, uh, it's a little bit, a uh, little bit of uh, flow that you can get going there. It's got a great court, courtyard with a little fountain in the middle and the gates, and you just sit there and and look out at Molokai and uh, the golf course up the bay at Kapalua. It's a wonderful house. It's very easy to show. So give me a call. Mitch at 870-5548. Mitch at 870-5548. Yeah, that's a, a great house. I agree with you that the entry is pretty phenomenal. There's a really great spot with the uh, courtyard, and then the exterior lanai areas are second to none. So it really is one of those homes that uh, worth getting a look at if you're thinking something at Pineapple Hill. One of the other things, again, one, the area that's taken off the fastest seems to be our owner-occupant type homes. And if you're looking for a home right now, it's time that you've really got to start paying attention. Interest rates are still great, but they're just starting to edge up. So if you've been putting it off thinking, I can't afford it, it's time now. At least figure out if you can afford it or what you can do so that you will be able to buy at a later time. But call us at Sakamoto Properties, 808-669-0070, and let us direct you. If you have a real estate broker that's your favorite, give her a call, give him a call, and say, you know, I'm thinking that we should be able to buy right now. And over the last many weeks, we've been saying one of the first things might be talk to your lender. You know, if you know someone, or go into your bank and tell them that you're thinking you want to be able to buy something. You know, so fill out a loan application and figure it out. You know, you can do it, and when you wait another year, the odds are you won't do it because you aren't going to be able to. Interest rates will go up, prices will go up, so the time is now. And again, check us out, check out our website, SakamotoProperties.com. Another interesting thing we just put on our website is we've got a thing about daily open houses. So if you look at it, you can find every open house that's going on in our community take the list with you and wander around and take a look at properties. You can always call us when you find the one you like. But again, whether you go through our website or something else, take a look. I'd say go to Sock Motor Properties, find all of the open houses and wander around. Call us 808-669-0070. Now again, properties, Mitchell. Um, I have a great one that I like to talk about. It's out in Lania Poco. Um, on Nihu Street, it's a uh, three bedroom, two bath, it's got a, an Ohana on it, and it was a working nursery. The present owners are not able to keep the nursery running at the moment, but it's all there. It's got uh, the benches and the fences and the watering system, and they also have um, a sod farm there. So it's really doing the agricultural. It's um, five acres and uh, it's got some phenomenal views. The Ohana is built down so it won't take any of the view when you build the main house. It's got a great uh, um, barn on it with a woodworking uh, facility. One of the owners creates uh, <coughs> carved wood and so forth. So it's a wonderful place, very easy to show. So give myself or Roy Sakamoto a call. My number is 870-5548. Okay, Sakamoto Properties. Let's see what else. 5205 on the lower road. We have a great Napili home that I think you might want to take a look at. Again, now this is going to take somebody looking for ocean front. But give us a call. It's almost a half acre. It's got a separate Ohana on it. 
uh, huge, right, walks down to a sandy beach. So call us on that one. If you're looking for oceanfront, there's only a few available properties. So really worth, again, if you, there's all these different categories. If you're looking for oceanfront, it's hard right now because there's only a limited number of oceanfront inventory, somewhat similar to the owner-occupants. We've had a lot of sales, inventories going down, which means that all of a sudden prices are going to be going up. So it's time on each one of these categories to give us a call. So 808-669-0070, SakamotoProperties.com, or Twitter, Maui Sakamoto, or hashtag Betty Maui Radio. So get to us and let us help you to figure out what it is that you know, can satisfy your needs and get you into a new home, second home, vacation home, rental property, etc. Or land if you're ready to build. There's still great opportunities, the builders are available, and you just don't find that often. We've seen times when you really can't get a builder because everyone's too busy, and then you start paying more and more. So again, check in with us. We'd love to be talking to you. Mitch, what about right now? There's fewer and fewer condos that are available, but we've had some great sales up and down the coast. Maui El Dorado has been a very, very busy, active property. We call that the granddaddy of them all because it's been around a long time, but poured concrete, wonderful places, great views, swimming pools, the best cabana on the beach of any property. It's right in the middle of the Ka'anapali uh, Resort. Easy walking distance to all the major hotels and the beach. It's um, it's really a wonderful place, and it's kind of removed, so it's not right down in all the hubbub of the major hotels. But you can get there. It's just a four or five minute walk. But uh, a lot of people have their own golf carts, you know, so you're able to store a golf cart there, and the people will then like go down for dinner to Whalers Village and just take their golf cart down and run around with it. And I think you've got to be careful depending on when you're going to make this move with your golf cart. You can't use it during the day, you can't use it on the golf course, but it really does make it fun and I think the Maui El Dorado is, is a great spot and one worth looking into if you're looking for what would be either a second home or a vacation rental property. So again, one that I think is really worth looking at. We've got great listings up and down the coast, so I think again, you've got to call us and spend some time, a little bit of time on the phone with us, check out our website, which I think will get you pretty much everything you want. And uh, you'll be able to find what you like, put a lot of perimeters in, and move along that way. But I think, check, check in with us. You know, there's been a lot of sales up at Kapalua and the villas up there, and most of the golf villas that kind of flooded the market there for a while are now gone, and so the prices are really starting to go up there. And uh, I happen to have a wonderful bay villa right down. It's got tremendous, tremendous views of the ocean and Molokai, and uh, it's a great townhouse style. You enter on the ground floor, and then the bedroom's upstairs. And the view from the bedroom, you know, people just stop at the door and just can't believe the phenomenal view that that has. And, you know, we have it in our little rental program, and... Uh, the owners have allowed me to give a discount to the people that are renting it so that I can get anybody in in 24 hours to see it. So, you know, it's starting to get busy again. It's summertime. Um, I, was, I was on the mainland last week, and coming back, the plane was probably a third full of, of kids. So summer's here, and everybody's arriving. So, And that brings another thought. We really have to be careful of driving these days. We've got a lot of little kids here running around so excited to be in Hawaii on the beach and you know they kind of tend to forget to look both ways. Well I think that's a that's a great point in a community like this we are a small community and we do have to pay attention to children and people crossing the roads it's places that they really shouldn't be crossing and that's everywhere you know the lower road in Lahaina, you know, when you get down on the lower road, a lot of people are staying on the mountain side of the road. Got to be paying attention because kids will run across in front of their parents or parents are just parking. Again, take a good good look, pay attention to what people are doing because I think it really does. It, it, we've got, we've got to do that. There's too many accidents happening across our island and pedestrian accidents can be a problem. So 
I think Mitch is right. Take a look at that, and let's all be cautious. Let's not be in such a big hurry that we are seeing these horrible accidents. So let's be a part of the solution, not someone causing a problem. So that's, that's actually a great point, Mitch. I think Mitch is right at Kapalua right now. We've had a lot of sales, inventories down. For somebody who's really looking to get into the market today, there's still some great golf villa things that are going on. We've got some great properties listed for sale. And I think it is, it, again, it's time. Give us a call, 808-669-0070, SakamotoProperties.com, uh, Facebook, Maui Sakamoto, and um, you can do hashtag Fetty Maui Radio. You know, the listing that we were talking about before, our Napili listing, Oceanfront, you can get a good look at that right now by just going to NapiliBeachHouse.com. We've got tons of photos that are in there. You can get a great look at it and price, etc. So go go to that, check that out, NapiliBeachHouse.com. I think it's it's perfect. You know, it'll just get you through a ton of pictures. And uh, if you're looking for an oceanfront property, you're going to really, you're going to be somewhat sold when you just look at the photos of that place. And the owners will um, assist us in getting in. And um, I think that's, Again, well worth your while. 808-669-0070, SakamotoProperties.com. We, we talked last week quite a bit about the different graduations here. We had been at the um, Lahaina Luna graduation, which is always pretty amazing. Uh, Maui Prep, which was only 17 graduates. Uh, unbelievable. It, the same thing that we do in all of the property or in the... Um, graduations here, tons of lays, and I just went to a couple of graduations in San Diego for my daughter's kids, Julie Ehu, who went to Lahaina Luna, and uh, we took some lays there and added a little bit to the excitement, but I'll tell you, a Lahaina graduation is really an unbelievable thing. In San Diego, there were graduating or moving up from sixth grade to seventh grade, there were, I think, 250, 300 kids right there, and then going from eighth grade to high school, I think there were 700 kids. So it's the schools are huge there, and it really is a different setup, but still fun and amazing. And let's all support all our kids and everything that they're doing. You Any know, other properties, Mitch? No, but I kind of want to say how much fun it is for us to spread our aloha. You know, you to the graduation in San Diego, and I took a couple of lays to Ohio for a uh, 50th uh, wedding anniversary. And, and you know, it's, it's kind of fun having people all over our country and all over the world recognize Hawaii, the aloha, the flower lay. You know, uh, it's, it's great to s help spread the aloha. And just kind of want to remind myself as well as others that you know, we have a lot of visitors here right now coming in, and they're here to try and learn our aloha, and we have to remember these are great visitors. These help all of us in all of our businesses, whether it's real estate, grocery stores, and uh, spreading, spreading the word of aloha and Hawaii, and uh, I think it's a good time, and I just need to remember that these people are all beneficial to us, and are part of the reason that we can enjoy living here. Take a look, there's a great book around Practice Aloha, which you can pick up at Honu uh, Restaurant in Lahaina, you can pick it up at Barnes and Noble, Amazon.com, but that's really a great book to be reading, and Mitch is right, we should all remember to practice Aloha. And uh, there is so many different ways that we can do it, so many things that we can do that in the little ways, and I think Mitch is right, the grocery store, the this, the that, the places that we spread a little kindness. And I think the idea of practice aloha really goes a long way. We were looking at a lot of statistics today, Mitch, you and I talked about them a little. There's a good article right now in the Pacific Business News that highlights how our market is going. And again, worth taking a look at it. If you don't get it, I know you can locate Pacific Business News by uh, Googling it or PacificBusinessNews.com, I believe is their site. But I looked at a whole bunch of different statistics, and almost everywhere the median sales price 
is up substantially, you know, across the board here in Maui. So I think just looking at what, you know, what has happened, sales to date, sales from last year to this year, again, it's a happening, and I just really want to see people not miss out on it. So I think it's time to get you guys, uh, you know, ca a call to action if this is what you want to do. If you've been thinking buy a property, got to do it now. The inventory is depleting, and so therefore it's that alone is going to help drive the prices up. So, yeah, and again, the same thing I mentioned a little while ago: the interest rates. We're seeing interest rates just start to edge up, and I talked to a couple of lenders who have indicated that the interest rates, although they've popped up, they come back down again, and then they pop back up. But if you get your application in and you're working with someone whether it's because you want to refinance or you're ready to buy, you know, hook up with someone and, and take a little time because I think that some of these interest rates, a lot of us right now might have a property that you had an interest-only loan that, you know, even if it's low right now, if you're planning to keep the property for the next 15 to 20 years, you might want to be refinancing and have a 30-year fixed mortgage or a 15-year fixed mortgage because I don't think we're ever going to see, we're, I think it's going to be a long time before we ever see some of these interest rates that we're looking at right now. So again, whether your lender is one of the banks, you know, go in and talk to them, whoever, wherever you've got your money set up, talk to them, talk to one of the great mortgage brokers around. Uh, call us if you really want to get a couple of names, we'll give them to you. Call us at Sakamoto Properties, 808-669-0070. Uh, check us out and we'll help you try to find a lender to get your process going. I think we're right now we're just at our two minute warning so again whether getting ready to buy right now I think that you should be number one talking to a realtor talk to Sakamoto Properties check with a lender uh, we've got so many great listings right now that today it was a little hard. We came up with a couple, but we didn't want to just flood you with different ideas. And I think, look at our website. Again, SakamotoProperties.com. We've got a lot of people coming on. We're doing a thing where we've tried to hook up and communicate with you on the website, which has been really fun. I think Mitch has one other property that he kind of wants to talk about. One that we kind of sort of forget sometimes, or I kind of forget, is the Masters. Masters is a great property up there, and you and I have a beautiful Masters 1402 listed um, at a million one. It's totally renovated, nice and white, makes you, it's set down right on the golf course, uh, Ka'ana Poly golf course, with unobstructed views. The other buildings are set back on it, so, you know, you're not looking at the people on your side, and it's just it's really a pleasant, quiet, with a full-on view, year-round sunset. It's uh, been remodeled. The bathroom is great, and the um, uh, it's just phenomenal. Yeah, and both it's bathrooms. Easy to show. Both bathrooms totally remodeled. Everything in the place. They added additional storage. From the kitchen window, you can actually look out to the water, way down the golf course in one direction. The Lanai, huge, huge views. Really a that is a great one, Mitch. Glad we thought to say it. And we're now winding down. We've probably got 30 seconds left, oh. so we're going to be coming quickly up to Danny Couch again and I Love Hawaii, one of my favorite songs. So listen on, and if you don't have a Danny Couch album, go get one. Google Danny Couch. Talk to you soon. Aloha. Aloha.